My first thoughts on the new appraisal system is seeing where we're coming from and seeing where we're going. The PDOS system, I felt, did not give teachers enough feedback. It is a little bit overwhelming for some of the teachers. Uh, being a team leader on my, on my grade level, I know some of the teachers are trying to figure out how to fit some of the pieces of the puzzle. It's, it's going to be something new. It's going to be something that teachers are going to have to adjust to, but I think overall the new appraisal system is more valid than the old one. Uh, my first impressions are a little overwhelming uh, between trying to figure out the observations and the visits and approving the SLOs. I think I'm the only elementary campus that has a half-time assistant principal, so trying to figure out how we were going to get the observations in the fall and the spring and the visits uh, has been a scheduling challenge. Um, I think it's still a little bit confusing to everyone. Um, I'm still a little bit confused. I don't know how logistically all the administrators are going to do all the visits and observations. I've done a couple already actually and it's just such a much faster process. I don't get lost in, in the big huge rubric that, that PDOS uh, entailed. The training was good. I, we decided as a team to watch it together and to work through it. That way it did allow us to have some conversation. We, our information that was presented to us was self-explanatory. We got a nice handout. They were available for questions multiple days. Um, you know, they were always announcing, we're here. Um, people from the district came in. They were available for us to ask questions. So there were a lot, lot of opportunities for us to troubleshoot before the actual deadline. The training for PPOT was great. Um, it was, it gave us all the ability to sit and calibrate with each other about about what we're seeing and what's really happening in a classroom. The thing I like most about the PPFT is the fact that teachers get evaluated continuously. They get evaluated from different administrators. Um, and because, for the most part, the teachers get to choose what they're going to be appraised on, I think it helps kind of respect the professionality of being a teacher. As a team leader, I'm able to see how my team is responding to it. Some people are against it. They want to go back to PDOTS because it was a little bit less requirements on our end. Um, however, PPFT to me gives you a better overview of the teacher. So early on, um, I really wasn't too sure what to expect. It was something new. We were learning about it throughout the school year. At this point in time, um, I've already received my initial observation from one assistant principal. Um, I really enjoy having the feedback listed on HCP. We've realized how, how much is involved in such a system, and for good reason. There, there are multiple steps. There are multiple classroom observations. There's a lot of collaboration that has to go on. There's a lot of back and forth between administrator and teacher. Um, so just, just a lot more conversation happens overall uh, as opposed to, to our former evaluation system. I think maybe just the feedback from the appraisers is um, pretty timely and, it hap and at least we're getting some sort of feedback, whether it's um, something that we want to hear or something we don't want to hear. I think that feedback is important. I really think it's important looking at the new appraisal system on a, you know, a big scale because um, it's really going to help teachers be able to meet their short-term and long-term professional goals. I think it's more rigorous and it's got a lot more components, and we're not no long we're no longer just judged on, you know, this one visit that comes. Teachers know what sort of those examples are or the suggested uh, criteria are for what should be happening in areas like student engagement and differentiation. What does that really look like when you're working with a group of students? And I don't, PDOS did not lend itself to that level, I think, to that level of uh, understanding or that level of detail, really. Um, I really like the fact that um, it encouraged me to reflect on my practices. I like that um, looking ahead, um, at the end, there was a component where you have an opportunity to discuss with your administrators what is it that um, you can individually grow on and improve on, and I, I like 
but that made me think more about, hey, what can I do next? You know, what am I doing now? How can I make that better? And where do I go from here for next year? Experienced with it, I feel more comfortable about it. Because initially when you first hear about it, it's, it's like, here, here's this new system. You're like, okay, well, there's a lot to take in. And then getting through it, it wasn't actually that big of a deal um, to go through the whole process. After each walkthrough or each administrative evaluation, I could always go back on and check HCP, and from there it gave me ideas for further professional development if I wanted to look into anything. So overall it just gave me an insight to how to become a better teacher. It allowed me to meet with my supervisor, see areas that were recommended for improvement, seek out trainings, professional developments, and self-studies to to be able to meet those needs and then bring that back into the classroom. And it also allowed that rapport and that communica um, communication and feedback to see if we are progressing in the direction that we both set as our goal. Being able to compare the first observer notes to our second observer notes um, gave more insight to see was there an improvement in a certain category or was it consistent across the board. Um, I think that we are much more collaborative as an administrative team. I think that we are um, speaking the same language. I think before in appraisal system that it was really easy to to uh, make judgment calls uh, based on nothing really and be very subjective and so it, we have had to come to terms with what's the language that we're using, what is it that we're looking for, what, are, what should we be seeing the students do in a classroom. I, I really like the continuous effective feedback that the administrators provide. The administrators, um, for example, for me, they've come in about two or three times, evaluated my teaching. It opened up, um, it opened up room for dialogue. It opened up room for collaboration. So when they observe me teaching, I'm able to ask them questions such as how is my teaching going so far? What are some things I can improve upon? When you think about an evaluation tool, you want to think about something that really helps teachers to de develop and build upon their capacity. That can only be done through collaboration, through talking. Um, so when I'm able to talk, have meetings with the principal, it, it really, I f found that it really helps me to develop as an educator myself. It's kind of like if you look at a puzzle, if an administrator only evaluates you one time, that's only one piece of the puzzle. But whenever you get that continuous feedback, that's many different pieces that are put together to create the whole picture of you as a teacher.